Welcome back, everybody. Okay. I have a little slideshow going right now because you know how Facebook gives you like memories and stuff uh, from when you were on Facebook? <laughs> um, these are apparently some wall drops I did <laughs> back in the day. So I wanted to show these off to you guys. This is how indoctrinated I was. Alexa, turn on the desk lamp. This is how indoctrinated I was into paparazzi. Now, these are all blockbuster pieces that came in my starter kit that I couldn't offload to save my life. So I decided to do wall drops on my Instagram to get rid of this stuff. Now, there's that icy piece in the middle of that one. Everyone knows these. These are the beautiful copper flowers, you know, because Misty Kirby loves her freaking flowers. But you guys, this is stuff I was desperate to sell and offload because it had been sitting in my store since the dawn of time. So I was mixing and matching and pairing everything to, ooh, look, there's a starlit shimmer pair of earrings right there. And there's the pink necklace I was talking about. So, yeah, the desperation became um, pretty bad. But, you know, I kept trying to sell this stuff. I kept trying to get rid of this stuff. I kept trying to get customers to buy this stuff. But it was only after I quit exactly two years ago that, oh, look, there's me in a LuLaRoe dress with some seed bead necklace on. <laughs> you guys, it's sick that I was so indoctrinated with this stuff. It's sick. And it's sad. Oh, look, there's uh, Sedona Sunrise or Sunbeam or something along those lines. Yeah, that we all get obsessed. And you see all those little gems around all these little pieces? Those are little fakey diamonds that I got when I ordered from my upline. She would send me these little gems. There's a whole bunch of short necklaces. I'm sure some of those you've seen before on Papa Crappy because some of them they've brought back. There's the shell pieces because I love those shells but yeah this is all the stuff that came in my starter kit the ring holder oh my god all those rings I had five trays of rings stuffed to the gills you guys that looked a lot like that it was it was bad okay and these were rings that I had displays of and then I saw the butterflies and the Celtic stuff and there's the Terra teardrops and the apothecary earrings. The fact that I still remember the names of this shit kills me. Um, absolutely apothecary, those um, whatever, those cracked stone earrings, they were heavy. And I got like nine pairs in my starter kit because I got the big kit, you guys. Not one of them sold. I kept a pair of the black ones for me. There I am with short spiky hair and I knew my ankles. But, yeah, there I am, kind of angry. There I am, that was a promotional postcard to stack bracelets. And there I am wearing paparazzi jewelry in every picture. Okay, so that's the end of that slideshow. Let's take that down because, you know, I'm sure you've had enough. But, yeah, um, paparazzi was was all in. I was all in. I drank the Kool-Aid, and I drank that Kool-Aid hard so hard that it makes me sad to to admit it but that's the thing we have to admit where we went wrong we have to teach in order to teach you know we have to share with others things that we did so others don't make the same mistakes all right so I'm gonna go here to today and I'm going to share with you on YouTube if I can get it let me get it up. Oh, I can't think. So I'm going to pause for a second and pull this up. All right. I got it back up. So this is a video that I came across. It's over two hours. I'm not going to watch the whole two hours with you. I'm just going to dive into a little bit. So she she does a recap of the convention. Uh, the convention that, you know, people came home and got sick from. So I wanted to hear her take on it. And we'll watch a little bit. Again, I'm not going to put us through the whole two hours of this because it's redonkulous and, you know, it's winded. So let's get started and you guys will watch together. 
and I'll pause it when I have something to say. And with Gembox, I feel like I haven't seen you in forever. Guess what? I just got back from convention 2021 Yay. celebrate crazy week long party. I still needed a nap today, but I am excited to be here with you. Mm -hmm. Going to share this video to our VIP group and my personal timeline. Everybody pop on and say hello to me. Ha so she's an elite. She's not high, high up there, but she is an elite. And, you know, while she gets everything up, I'm just going to move forward a little bit so we can get into the nitty gritty because I don't want to go through four minutes of her welcoming everybody and saying hi and being fake. So here we go. For another couple of weeks. Yeah, he did. He, it's so hard to get in sometimes and I don't like to push. So he was able, because he was so tall, to reach over everybody and give you guys the exclusive sneak peek because once they're gone, they're gone. My so she's showing the stuff that was the exclusive sneak peeks. But let's, let's comment on what is going on behind her. So she has her sequin shirt in the iridescent sequins so she's all in on the iridescent and oils like I bet you anything and then we have the wall of jewelry behind her or as I now like to call it the wall of debt okay then we have her little like stampy stamps that tell you about her the name of her business that she made on either uh, pick monkey or canva pro and then she has a little scroll at the bottom there is so much going on on this video that it's like an ADHD, uh, it, it's crazy to me. My favorite 2021 signature series Z is the amber. And it's the gold with the rhinestones and it's absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. Jessica! Oh my gosh, and meeting you, I literally died at the restaurant. We had so much go on this week. I'm excited to share it all with you. I'll do my best. This is an ADHD nightmare because she'll like start talking about something and then she'll squirrel. And then she'll like change the subject and then she'll be like, oh yeah, I was telling you about the C collection pieces. Let's go back to that. I mean, it's, it's a jumbled up mess. So we'll keep going. So the 10 I have up are Liberty, Tommy, Amber, Hillary, Nikisha, B, Danielle, Missy, Tanisha, Janie, and that's it. The other 10, I did post a video, Marissa, hey, Squirrel. that we met at convention, and that was way fun. I posted a video of the other 10 on my Instagram, so you're going to want to get on there and check out my reels on Instagram, because I do have that on there. So here is the jewelry that we got a registration. Ooh, look at it's that. It's a reel on my Instagram page, crap. so if you want to take a look. I got the men's and the women's jewelry at registration. I got both of those. So if you want to take a look, here it is. And so did you guys notice that one of those necklaces said strength, independence, and something? Yeah, because we need those motivational jewelry pieces. And it is on the reels of my Instagram profile. So if you go to Instagram, Gembox Accessories, and then click this little T. Let's get to the box. I can't. Yeah, I just can't team. So here's my little celebrate box. I have two of them because I had mine and then also Jess. They gave us this really cute water bottle with all of these words on it with a flip lid. Ooh, a Bima and water a bottle handle. that has words on Peloton. it. It says family, confetti, music, hooray, colorful cheer, make a wish, invite lights, dancing, jewelry. Propaganda, propaganda, propaganda. Three happy accessories, fun, birthday presents, entertainment, all the good things that paparazzi stands for. If you were watching and you wish you were there, they're not, like David said, they're not curing cancer. They're selling costume jewelry. And I, I, I can't even think of another word. They're selling, they're selling shit. Okay. Please join with me. I don't come out and ask all the time because I don't want to be pushy and I don't want to be robotic about it. But I'm telling you that $99 kit is the smartest thing that you're going to do if you are looking for fun and friends and people to connect with. I cannot tell. 
Yeah, pay $99 for fun, friends, and people you can connect with. And, you know, get that $99 kit so I can move up to the next drink. So, ugh, so disgusting. Okay, I'm moving forward a little bit more. Here we go. August 2nd through August 6th. So registration opened on a Sunday and convention closed by that Friday. And this year was different because it was their 10 year anniversary party. So normally they don't have a lot of late night events. They might have two, but this year they had three. Here are the pins Ew. that I had on my lanyard and they're metal and they're so cool if you're into pins. I know a lot of Disneyland fans have their lanyards. Another cup because Jeff had one. So all of this Ooh. I'm going to use as team incentives and swags for my girls that couldn't go. And then a cute little paparazzi pen that has a rhinestone on the end and crushed gems. Okay. If you tried to take that pen through TSA in your bag, they would take it out and inspect it. And jewelry. All of that came with my registration. And so they have you set up for success. In other words, it's hot. Ooh. They give you water, a little container, just in case you forgot. They also have everything prepared for you. Didn't the Lula Ridge documentary come out shortly after the Celebrate convention where people were talking about how at convention they ran out of food, they ran out of water, and it was a cluster? Um, I'm guessing that we have to uh, you know, counteract that, so I don't know. Oh, let's go back to here. I'm just skipping for it again because, again, I'm not tor I'm not torturing you guys on this. But, yeah, it's a busy mess. Because I wanted to learn about. And so, aim high, team attendees. I had 13 people from my team there. Ooh, Actually, 13. about 15. We had a couple of extras. My hopeful expectations pre-convention were Z bracelets for sale. Oh, yes. I got all of them. Z earrings Ooh, or oh, rings. Yes. Not this year, but I'm waiting for those to come out eventually. A new blockbuster was announced spotlight stunner Ooh, new ah. rank they didn't announce a new rank but we had two iconic impressionistas which is incredible passport vacation 2021 they have not announced that i didn't know if they would say anything about it but super stoked to be there and as of this convention i am a producer and my consultant id is five six nine seven five and i'm tian pierce in case you've never met me before so she's just a producer Where's the book? Where did I put the book? Here's the book. Sorry. I got rid of all the jewelry that came in the starter kit, but I did keep all of the uh, goodies. So, she is a producer. So, she's... Let's see. There's consultant, star consultant, director, premier director, executive director, and producer. So, producer. She has three personally sponsored active consultants. Her organizational volume is 12,000 with two little stars underneath it. Indicates that no more than one third of the required organizational volume can be generated by one leg of a consultant. So she just said she had 13 to 15 girls there. Three of them are personally sponsored. So let's see. What do the little things? She's eligible for a retail show rebate and building, uh, business building bonus. She gets a 10% Unilevel, a 5% on Unilevel 2, a 5% on Unilevel 3, and she also qualifies for a generational bonus. So, let me see. What does it mean for Miss Tian? So, let me get a Google search up to look at the compensation plan. Let's get this and let's see. What is the average producer's commission check each month? Because she's just a producer. So her average is between 500 and 3,000. That's what, you know, the average is. So let's, let's look at this one. Oh, right. I don't want to pull up another video. I'm trying to get the stupid link. Where's the link? All right, so producer, uh, percent of consultants earning uh, is point, uh, 0 0.92 percent, so not even a full percent are producers. The highest monthly bon bonus is $11,365.41. The lowest monthly bonus is $775.74, and the average is $1,800 a month. Now, 
uh, if you've watched my videos in the past, and yes, it's sunny outside today, so the light sucks. If you've watched my videos in the past, you know that she was a nurse in the NICU. She tells that in her paparazzi story, too. I'm pretty sure she made more than $1,800 a month uh, working at the NICU. But, you know, she's retired herself and her husband to do paparazzi. Now, I'm not sure if her husband, Jeff, who sings or does something with the Mormon Tabernacle Choir, I don't know if Jeff, uh, you know, is retired or not. But, you know, you guys, they use the status that they have, I believe, within the Mormon church to, uh, to get more consultants. But there's only so many people in Utah you can go through. So here's some information about celebrate some past swag and then some cute little pictures. I still need to fill it out. So my budget, my wish list, my dream, my one goal as a sponsor, my personally sponsored teammates and my personally sponsored goal. I want to hit 200. I'm at 75 right now or am I at 80? I have to look. The fact that you you can't even remember how many people you're personally sponsoring means that you have too many. I'm going to try and fix the light real quick. Because the fact that you can't even remember how many people you are personally sponsoring... Oh my god, the light sucks. Sorry, it's it's sunny in Seattle today. That, that makes me sad. So, here we go. Hey, Lisa Marie! But I want to grow my team with people that are looking. Someone out there wants this and has no idea how cool this is. And I want them to find me. The Z winners for the signature series that we saw come out. And then it is held at the MGM Convention Center, which is right behind the MGM Casino. So let's go through each day Sunday. You register at the Boulevard Ballroom. So when you walk in on the first floor, I enter via the Uber Lyft pickup by the parking garage. So we would come in. There's a pink carpet there. You walk in, and on the floor is a massive decal. And then they have light-up screens with gorgeous images with the mission statement. Every picture has new releases on it. So you're going to see sets that match. That's a fashion fix. So keep that in mind. And we were right. We saw some of the sets that matched. And I was like, that's going to be a fashion fix. And they were. And I'm so excited. We saw earrings, Yay. hoops with seed beads in them. I'm going to show you some of the pictures. So what <laughs> I'm talking about are light-up screens. i got to scroll way down, boo, because I have so many pictures. Okay, here we go. <laughs> going the wrong way on my phone. Okay. I took a bazillion pictures, and I'm really not lying. Okay, so light up screens on your way out that show the new releases. They also have the mission statement, and they also yes. have what's coming, like concerts, events, things to look out for. And it was nice to just walk in and see that popped up just right there out this. front. I'm going to pause for Let a second, ladies. Can find. This is my upline. That's TN. Oh. This is all full of jewelry. Jeez. Um, this is her bling room. Mm -hmm. She she really loved her sequiny shirts. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. But look at the debt on the wall behind her. And oh. she just told us that she's a producer. So she, her average commission check is you know, maximum is 11000 Low is 700 She probably falls somewhere around the average of 1800 a month in commission checks. Wow. Oh. But she used to be a NICU nurse. Well, I guess you can afford to buy all that jewelry you'll never sell if you're making money off of other people. Other people, right? Yeah. But this is, you know, she's talking about convention. It's, yeah, yeah. So it looks like this. Because, of course, she'd have to so sell. So One Republic was one of our concerts. Ooh, Cute but, new releases. Oh. For every piece on there, she'd have like to Like these earrings are going to be coming out. Table. What? Lisa Marie, did you have so much fun? Okay, those earrings that she just showed, didn't they just drop as new releases yesterday? Or did they bring them back? Who knows? But they look like fried egg flowers. So. I'm still dying. Social media to follow paparazzi. This is one of our Simply Santa Fe sets that was just released. New pieces like this are coming. First of all, their models are spectacular. They do such a good job. So everything in these pictures are new releases that are up and coming. 
So I loved seeing these light up screens all around, right at the entrance of the conference center. Okay, these earrings. I was dying for these earrings. Why the beads? Lisa will Marie, lose her we glue had and such a good time, and her makeup, like always on trend, always just so. Paparazzi does it right. That's how I. Oh, they do. They do it right. Don't they, Bubby? Yes, they do. <laughs> Lily's like, please, Mom, no. <laughs> the boutique prices were very, very affordable. At no point did I feel like I was being hustled for swag that was beyond the price that I would normally pay. And I'm glad for that because sometimes you go to events and the swag can be very expensive. Um, I also ordered the black tee that had the logo on it, another set of stickers, and then a carry-on kit. So Ooh. some of these will be swag for my team, and some of them are and mementos for me. So that paparazzi boutique. Yeah, let's let's give you merchandise that we can buy for super cheap from China, slap our logo on it, and charge our consultants through the paparazzi boutique. <sighs> so gross, right, you guys? I mean, it's just, it's gross. So this is Lily. Say hi, baby. So... Lily has not been feeling good today. She's uh she's getting old, like Jazzy was, but she she can't jump much, and she she's like hiding. <laughs> she's like I don't want to be on camera. I'm gonna hide here, mommy. But um, you know, just this two hours of her talking about convention and how great it was, and her recap, it it kind of makes me sad. I will let you down. Hold on, hold on. There you go. There you go. Go to your bed. It makes me sad because this is something that she did to convince people to join this company. And she does it every year. Um, she's been doing it for every year. So I'm going to pull up something and show you guys. I mean, I'm going to go to images. And I am going to pull up an image that, um, in fact, I'm just going to share this page. So let me put the properties in real quick. Cancel, wrong thing. Cancel. Emily's having issues today. All right. This is Google Images. Now, I am going to interact with this and go down, so here we go. If you scroll down and you look at everything that's on here, this is all of her images and stuff from back in the day. But as you keep going down, and one is on my, uh, there's her room. There's the room, you guys. We love these selfies where we're looking off to the right. We love all of this stuff. But there is a picture, if you keep scrolling down, of her and her friends at a convention one year, standing in front of a pink Hummer limousine uh, because they went, oh, look, she's even putting out her own propaganda. You only get once. Oh, my goodness. I have not seen that one before. That's kind of sad. She's like, no, Daddy, don't. Don't let Mommy do that. If you aren't having fun, what do you need to change? This is another another propaganda. Hold up. Why aren't you flexing? Flexing what? I mean, just you just keep going down. All right, everyone, gird your loins. And she puts her gem box accessories. She's even taking things and making memes out of Ugh, so disgusting. I can't find, oh look, there's a very popular Z collection piece that everyone just had to have. I don't know why, it's ugly. But you just, you can see more results, but if I put a Gembox Accessories Convention, let's see if that pulls up anything. Oh, it shows her recaps. Let's see, oh, there's a picture of her following the convention. But yeah, she, she is front and center in some of those convention photos, you guys. She is front and center, not wearing a mask. Okay? In fact, there, there they are at the Celebrate convention, 
not wearing a mask right there. So you would think a nurse would take a pandemic, especially during uh, the Delta variant, seriously, but, you know, that's just me. Uh, Papa Crappy's not dropping for a half hour or so, so I'm going to pause the video. I'll come back in time for Papa Crappy. We'll look at those, and then I'm going to upload this and enjoy the rest of my day off. All right, it's 12 o'clock. Papa Crappy, let's see what's hitting. Uh, they're back office, so... Of course, uh, my interact is not working, so let me go to properties real quick and take away this hidden. See if that'll work this time. Yep, that's how I get it to work. So, ooh, here they come. Maybe. We'll see. I'm scrolling down to see if there's anything new and fabulous. So far, I don't see anything new and fabulous. Do you? Nope. Just no. Oh, look, see, there's the necklace that was very similar to the pink one I showed at the beginning of this video. Shocking. So let's see. Let me go to new releases and see because it's officially new releases time. And like I said, this stuff usually doesn't hit. Okay, we've got the Galactic Duchess uh, that just came down. It's a silver one. All righty. So there's Galactic Duchess, uh, Blissfully Bubbly, <laughs> okay, oh, we've got another lanyard that's called Hands Down Dazzling, woo, and then we've got Pearlescence in green, and then in Seaside Shimmer, okay, woo, I'm like looking at this stuff thinking, oh my god. How much of this is going to sell super fast? Bling to heal. That ring is still there. The white one went pretty fast, but not this one. We still have the butterfly earrings that aren't going anywhere. Oh, look, we have a risky razzle, which is a pyramid on top of a pyramid. Don't rock the yacht multi, which is an iridescent pearl, so they give a rainbowy essence. Ooh, bet those are going to go fast. Because they were probably something you saw at um, convention or Empower Me Pink. And then what is with this? This is supposed to be a flower, but it's a hoop with seed beads to make it look like a flower. But it looks like something a little kid made. It's just not cute. Oh, looky, we have another bobby pin. And it's in purple and iridescent. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, we've got an iridescent celestial culture. It's a life of the party bring back. Let's see how long that lasts. And then we've got Colorfully Congo, or as I'd like to call it, another Smarties bracelet. All right, so I'm going to click on this thing and see how long it lasts because this, this is, this is the life of the party bring back, and it's got oil slicks. So it's going to go really super fast, I bet. And then we've got Party Crashing Couture. They love couture. Quite mez mesh rising. Seriously, I'm with my husband here. Who comes up with these names? A bobby pin for five dollars. Because that's what everyone needs is a bobby pin for five dollars. Ugh, I just hate it. I just hate it. Sorry. <laughs> I like making fun of the videos that I've watched. I'm amazed those are still there. Are they clip-ons or regulars? They're regulars and they're still there. I like making fun of the videos I've watched of paparazzi huns uh, doing their... Oh, I just hate this. Uh, they, they make me care about people all across the country. They make you care about your downline. Mm -hmm. You have to care about your downline, otherwise your income stream would dry up. Okay, so this is a... a hammered disc with yellow pearls on it and that's what they call seaside shimmer <laughs> and this this looks like it's called envious elegance those kind of look like bugs but they're gemstones and then we've got Mary oh marigold sold out it was there for a second nope something else sold out what do you want to bet it was the oh it's still there Let's see, what's gone? Is it the life of the party bring back? Because things are moving. 
The stupid pearl iridescent things are still there. Bobby pin's still there. Yep, the bracelet's gone. Can I call it, you guys, or can I call it? Anyway, there's life of the crappy today. As you can see, the uh, the bring back the you know the life of the party black diamond drop, whatever you want to call it. The bring back was immediately gone. It took five minutes for them to get those things out of the cart, and I'm guaranteeing you the frenzy to check out. A lot of people got that buffering thing, thing watching stuff fall out of their cart. And then when you see stuff fall out of your cart, do you want to continue to check out? The answer should be no. If the hot item that you wanted to get fell out of your cart, don't complete your purchase. That's something I want to say to everybody who's an active consultant. If you don't get what you want in your shopping cart, don't check out. Don't go back and buy something else. There's no need. You have no need for this costume jewelry crap. So if they want you to continue to buy, to continue to fill up the pockets of your upline, then they need to have more of these items available. Because as you can see, the stuff that's not selling out is pure crap. It's crap. It's rehashed stuff that they've put out in the past. They're just giving it a different name, slapping a couple different things on it, and calling it a new look. But it's not. This right here is basically um, the same necklace that came out a couple years ago, but instead of a shell, there was a bead in the middle of it, and they called it Colorfully Chick. So, all of this crap... Why are those highlighted? I don't know. But all of this crap that they're bringing out is just the same thing with a different variation. Just a slight variation, but a different variation. This looks eerily similar to the acrylic pieces that came out. This Mermaid Oasis. Now let me uh, show it to you up close. This is not new. This It will be over the moon in brass. That came out in copper, silver, and gunmetal. But now it's in brass. It's not new. But this, this lovely over the moon piece, let's see, if, why is it not behaving? Oh, because I'm not. Yeah, even their own website doesn't work. But that's an acrylic piece. Look how well that O-ring is put together in that picture, you guys. Mm-hmm. That's quality goods right there. And that's what everybody should want, is this quality, amazingness, that is $5 jewelry. And as you can see, with all of the stuff in the necklace category, you can see what's selling and what's not. At least they're putting more stuff in the necklace category, instead of keeping it up in new releases. But it still sickens me that they bring blockbuster pieces up to the new releases because, you know, they have new consultants who probably don't know about blockbusters versus uh, seasoned consultants that do. So they'll keep throwing a couple things in the mix in hopes that someone sees it and thinks it's actually new. Title tassels. That thing is god-awful. Oh, look, they moved the sagebrush or tumbleweed piece to the back. I guess they didn't like me calling it the tumbleweed piece. And Date Night Novu. That is, mm -mm, no, just no. A lot of this is just the same stuff with a different name on it or a different bead or they swap out the bead for a shell or they swap out uh, the silver for gunmetal brass or copper or tin or whatever. But you guys, this is not, those are not necklaces. Those are bracelets. <laughs> It drives me nuts. So that's the end of uh, this rant and rave for the day. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. I'll respond when I have time. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.